Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And we're gonna play Toho Kabuto Burst Battle. Five. V. What? This isn't the fifth game. Oh, come on! I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's V. I mean... Versus, maybe? Maybe Versus. Uh, I know it came out on the Switch, PS4, and Vita. Seems awfully weird if it would stand for Vita, but... Huh? Oh, oh, this is the first one that's going to have VR if you do the PS4 version. Maybe it's for that. Let's just get stuck in. Um, as you know, oh, like no. in all things, I'm a filthy casual. Um, that does not look like somebody who thinks uh, all is right with the world. Oh, um... You know, I don't know that she's super into, like, people, even though she's a Shrine Maiden. Mm. She's One of the kind battle of, Shrine Maidens. She's kind of all about, uh, like, chilling and relaxing. Like, if she's not stuck fighting, you know, to keep the residents of Gensokyo from pouring into the real world or vice versa... Uh, yeah, she's fine if it's just dead at her shrine. Good lord. <laughs> what kind of jerks do you hang out with? <laughs> I think they're just random people attending the shrine. It is a public space. Oh no. What could that huh. possibly be about? Have we missed a few games? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, there's, there's a million and one of these games. Uh, most of them not getting releases here in the States. That's just a fact of it. No, that's um, too bad. There's, there's, like, fan translations and stuff. I mean, we could we could scour some webs and, and get some. Uh, uh oh. I will say that in spite of being, like, a Shrine Maiden who's supposed to, like, eradicate yokai or whatever, she's friends with a lot of them. Um, that's not to say she's not good at her job. Just that, like, they don't only to be eradicated. You know, usually you beat them up and say, hey, go back to your side of the line. Mm. <laughs> but we have to hang out on this platform for some reason. <laughs> well, we have to learn how to play the game. Because uh, I don't have any of the ones that are just bullet hell games. I'm getting all of the weird ones. Those are the gotcha. ones that they keep bringing out officially. Nine? Um, it's a... It's a pun, and it's one that doesn't translate to English. Great. But, uh, I was just laughing because it's Cyrano, and she's always fun. Um... She's not terribly powerful. I mean, she is for a fairy, but, like, compared to Yokai, she's kind of, like, weak sauce. But, uh... She's fun, and she memes very well. Mm. Doesn't seem all that bright. No, no. Uh, there's a fun fan video called Cyrano's Perfect Math Class, where she's trying to teach some of the younger yokai of Gensokyo math. But uh, they just turn into weird wordplay joke things, because uh, she can't do the math problems she's trying to teach them. Gotcha. So... I guess this one is somewhat similar to uh, Toho Genso Bullet Rondo. Mm. Uh, one in that it has a mouthful of a title, but also that it is a 3D brawler, kind of. It still has a lot of its bullet hell elements. I mean, I am still shooting things. Sure. But uh, it's it's a one-on-one -on -one duelist kind of system as opposed to, like... So, I feel I should tell you, I did watch the manual Oh, that uh, you seem to have missed. Yep. You, uh, the three buttons that aren't jump are all attack. Yep. And if you combine them, uh, you can, like A, Y, and X, you've got different uh, bars on the bottom of the screen there for how much energy you have. Oh. Yeah, I haven't actually, I mean, I had to just sort of pop open the box and put it in. And they don't have physical manuals anymore, so I was just gonna beat up on Cyrano until I figured it out. Yeah. That's kind of her job, is I'm just enough of a threat that you have to use moves on me. Uh, 
if you press more than one button at a time, you'll do combo moves. Oh. I see. That's pretty cool. And knocking out enemy bullets is how you fill your charge meter. I like that I'm like, memes, and I'm the main character of the story, and you're like, here's how you play the game. Yeah. I, I see. I see you finally found a normal attack. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure somebody is watching me play this and just watching those meters. I mean, eventually he's gonna notice that there's a button he's not hitting, right? Maybe. You know. You win barely by the skin of your teeth against the weakest character in the franchise, probably. I can appreciate an openly bribable character. <laughs> But no, she's actually, like, super good at her job, in spite of not being, like, overly motivated most of the time. Mm. <laughs> I'll let you go just this once. <laughs> Boundless ego. Not a ton of, like... Pattern recognition? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, is everybody else investigating this too? Um, oh, she's the gatekeeper on the other side. Ah. Uh, she is supposed to guard the gate of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Gotcha. So, you know, you've got a human on one side who's supposed to keep people from wandering into the realm of the yokai, and then you've got uh, Mei Ling, who's... She's wow. a yokai, but I couldn't tell you what kind. Way to step up and be a jerk. Jeez. <laughs> well, I guess the problem is is that like if you can if you can break into the world of the yokai, you probably have enough power that you can probably like knock her over too. Yeah, still. It's not to say that she's not good at her job, it's just that she's not like as powerful as some of the other yokai in this world. So mid tier, I guess. So now she has to stop you cuz you're not actually supposed to go into the Well, yeah, I'm a human. I'm not supposed to. <laughs> Just because, just because I can and have does not mean that uh, she's supposed to let me. Mm. Plus, of course, there's the fact that uh, I wasn't overly nice in my right? uh, introduction Jeez. there. <laughs> but uh, she's kind of a martial artist. Like that's yeah, her. Yeah, she kicked her you bit. Good. Yep. I mean, we all have melee attacks, but I'm going to say hers are probably a bit better. She uses key and oh, wow. instead of uh, instead of magic like a lot of the other characters are. Like, I use spiritual energy. Other characters use magic or, um, like, elements. Right, right. Um, if you remember when we played Double Focus, uh, the two characters there had their particular elemental types just based on the type of yokai they were. True. Um, yeah, she uses martial arts and is, you know, all close combat skills. So, you know, of course I'm going to run up and do some close combat at it and try and be better at her job than her because yep. That's how you I'm a protagonist. Games. No, paralyzed. Yeah, I didn't know that the status effects were a thing, but okay. Well, of course status effects are a thing. Oh, man. <laughs> Just gotta get one decent hit in. <laughs> yeah. It's easier said than done sometimes. <laughs> there, there we go. go. What, to let, let sassy humans into the world of the yokai when they I show mean, up? I <laughs> mean, that there are certain people you should probably just open the door for, I guess. Mm. A shame if I got fired over this. I, 
think Sykri is one of the like servants that like runs the house. Ah. Um, if it is who I'm thinking of. The butler. Yeah, yeah, the butler guy with the knives. Yeah. Well, of course. Um, huh, not who I was expecting to run into. Uh, Patchouli is a, a magician, but that's like her type of yokai, basically. Huh. She's naturally magical, but is also, uh, like, very big, uh, a voracious reader, big on knowledge. Um, she's like a Eastern style mage, so like, you know, elemental magics. Oh, right, right. <laughs> Gotta stop those rumors. Yep. I mean, you probably just need to check and see who's writing the newspaper these days. Honestly. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Or just hand over some, like, <laughs> cash or something. Yikes. Well, I mean, we have to have an excuse to beat each other up. <laughs> I guess. I've always liked the fact that Patchouli looks like she just woke up. Yeah. Like she's always always looks like she's in like her night clothes, or just you know that really comfy reading outfit, I guess. Oh yeah. Oh. So, you know, Patchouli's gonna be real good at the the range stuff, uh, but she's not terribly durable typically. Stop abusing your one attack. You're running out of energy for it. Sorry, I'll spam the heck out of button if it lets me. But, uh... Yeah, physically, not super strong. Probably one of the reasons she likes to, like, chill and read books all the time. Ooh. Um... Oh, you're down. Oof. Okay. I should probably not talk smack about Patchouli. <laughs> She's a very powerful magician. Very powerful magician. Also, your spell is ready. <laughs> That's a uh, Y and X, I think. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if mine hit, but I, I definitely know that hers did. Oh yeah, yours has an ongoing effect that continuously attacks. <laughs> well, that's good, because I'm not getting a lot of hits in on my own. Hooray! Second round is yours! Oh, man. <laughs> Barely. Yeah. Now for all the marbles. For plot advancement. <laughs> oh my goodness. You can also use the... I hate to be exceptionally cheap, but I'm just gonna beat you into the ground now. You can also use the L button to modify your attacks. Oh? Yeah. No! Uh, the mage done. machine gun. Ah, should have landed in front of that. That was bad. Ah. Uh, Alright, well. We're gonna give that one more shot. One more shot. <laughs> See if we yada, can't yada. Uh, <laughs> figure out a counter to sleepy magic. <laughs> I've generally found that not walking directly into their attacks is usually a good idea. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're probably right. <laughs> also, your big uh, ball blast thing is really good at blocking shots. Yeah. I don't often have any of that left when she decides to launch an attack, though. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah. Oh no. Ruh. You win. Oh. I knew it was either charge forward to get that last bit of HP or I was done for it. Yeah. Heck, you can open it with your spell. I didn't want to use it yet. <laughs> Maybe you've got something there. Or you can win without it. 
That's not. That's not jinxing. I mean, those are basically your two options. Win with it or win without it. <laughs> Alright. Things are going not terrible. I would like to point out she charged hers already. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, your health's in the uh, danger zone. Danger zone! Hooray! Your attack went off first. <laughs> attack priority. Frame advantage. Those words Isaac says. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, we won. Ah, no. <laughs> you just woke her up. Come on. Well, I think she has, like, asthma or is just sickly in general. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> huh. Is there an evil me somewhere? Neat. That would be interesting. Oh, man. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I mean, she's probably bored. So, Romelia Scarlet's like the head of household. She's like a 500 plus year old vampire. Gotcha. Uh, and Flandre's older sister. <laughs> So, nope, oh, there's Sayuka. <laughs> next time on Endless Mode, we're gonna figure we'll question out. The help. Yeah, yeah. All right, thanks for watching our strange misadventures here. Catch you later.